Today, we'll show you how Cloudcraft helps architects and engineers inventory and visualize their real-time cloud architecture and assess costs with professional diagrams. Cloudcraft has three main sections, design, live, and budget. The design section is the manual diagramming side of Cloudcraft. Here, we can design an environment using AWS resources, Azure resources, or both. This is helpful for project proposals, planning out new environments, or cloud migrations. For example, if we wanted to design a new small serverless application in AWS, we can start by placing down an API gateway. I'll then place down a Lambda, clone it a couple of times, draw the relationships with arrows, and add networking to put the Lambdas inside a VPC and security group. And just like that, we've created a new diagram for our app idea. Unlike static diagrams, Cloudcraft lets us experiment and see updates in key data points such as cost, so we get estimates of what we plan to build before we deploy it. Now, instead of trying to verbally explain an architecture, we can provide a diagram for easier communication and collaboration amongst teams to use as part of our approval process or add into pre- and post-deployment pipelines. But drawing existing infrastructure manually is difficult, and keeping them up to date is even more challenging. If we need fast visibility, we can move into the live section, which automatically diagrams our infrastructure. To get started, once we add our AWS or Azure credentials, we can automatically generate accurate, real-time diagrams of single or multi-region environments. This is helpful for audits, troubleshooting, discovering resources, as well as real-time documentation. For AWS, this works by creating an AWS-managed read-only role. We can then add as many AWS accounts as needed by following these steps. Once we've added our accounts, we'll be able to see them in the dropdown under Live and can choose the account and regions to scan for. We can even scan for multiple regions at once and see them all in one diagram. Once selected, we get a professional and interactive overview of our environment and an inventory list of all the resources and tags in it in seconds, rather than the hours it would take to manually create. To help us get to a focused view even faster, Cloudcraft comes with presets that apply group buys and filters for various use cases, such as infrastructure, security, and networks. If we want to further customize the diagram, we can always adjust. For example, I can add another group to organize my resources by network ACL in addition to the options already selected. I can also adjust what's included in the diagram using filters for resources and tags. For example, I can add EVS volumes back into the view by selecting it or filter down to only the resources tagged with team equals platform. We can filter using tags that are either from the cloud provider or even custom ones. With Cloudcraft, we get both a high level overview and a granular view of specific resources. If we select an EC2, for instance, we can see the platform, instance type, size, an approximate cost associated with the resource in the top toolbar. In the bottom left corner, we can see additional concise and relevant live data like the ID, state, IP addresses, availability zone, and more, as well as some live metrics taken from CloudWatch. We can also see which services are connected through inbound rules. By clicking into an inbound rule, we can see the port and protocol, which can show potential security exposures. On top of that, we can see multi-region connections, such as this peering connection. For customers who use both Datadog and Cloudcraft, we can also effortlessly navigate from any resource in Cloudcraft to relevant views in Datadog. This allows us to visualize our diagram in Cloudcraft 
and view the related logs, traces, or dashboards in Datadog for deeper dive analysis. When building diagrams, tracking changes and maintaining an archive of past iterations is important, especially when collaborating with distributed teams. With version history, we can look back in time, name important milestone versions, or revert accidental changes. For example, if I want to save the version that reflects the edits, I would give it a name. Once we have a diagram, there are multiple export options. The shareable link allows users to avoid constant static image exports and instead see a live view through a URL, reflecting any changes made in Cloudcraft. Secondly, there's a Cloudcraft for Confluence app from the Atlassian Marketplace and we can also export to draw.io or as a static image like a PNG, PDF, or SVG. But what if cost management's our main focus? Let's jump into the Cloudcraft budget view. The budget section uses the AWS Cost API and Azure Prices API to provide real-time insight for cost forecasting, optimization, and reporting. Having immediate access to the approximate cost of e each resource allows for swift budget assessments and agile decision-making. Additionally, understanding the instance type and size can guide capacity planning and scalability decisions. We can also forecast our budget. Right now, this is calculating the monthly spend. However, we can switch to hourly, daily, weekly, and yearly. With the budget, we can also do cost analysis and what-if scenarios. For example, if we want to downgrade EC2s from N5 General Large to T3s in a read-only format, we can see the cost dynamically adjust. This allows us to explore cost-saving opportunities in a read-only format, then present these optimization options to our team with professional diagrams. Cloudcraft makes it easy to visually understand and communicate your architecture, whether you're building from scratch, tracking changes in your environment, or looking to optimize cloud cost. To try out Cloudcraft, please visit cloudcraft.co and sign up for a 14-day free trial.